back to the First Year Experience podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Natasha Gonzalez. I'm joined by Grayson, Nady, and Jerry. Um, today we're going to be talking about just like the future because we do have some graduates here. Um, and we're also going to be talking about what we're thankful for. So do you guys want to get us started? Yeah. What are your plans for the future? I've been thankful for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong question. I've been thankful for graduation. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a good one. Ties both of them together. <laughs> okay, yeah, for sure. So thank you so much for the loaded question. Um, I do want to start off by saying, you know, uh, the past four years of my life have changed me so much and I think it's in grand parts to being a student and almost reaching that finish line and so for me it's a a really big achievement one that I never thought I'd get to uh and who knows I might not (laughs) grades through the semester I still do um but I have a lot of faith that you know I've put in the work to uh get where I am today I'm sure Jerry feels the same Mm -hmm. way I know the process for me has been kind of confusing. I don't know if you've had the same, um, you know, uh, experiences I have, but I think just being so focused on submitting all of my projects and stuff, I get kind of lost with all of the emails <laughs> for graduation and, and, you know, the whole ceremony. But I, I think it's uh, so some advice that I could give is maybe apply when you... Are registering for your final semester apply for graduation so it's not a thing that you forget that's what i would say mm-hmm. jerry do you want to add on that yeah i mean it's been a crazy four and a half years at this university but um you know it hasn't been a smooth semester <laughs> <laughs> i will say i feel like this last semester i don't know if it's because it's my last semester but i feel like it's been the hardest like all my classes have been wow. so crazy it's uh you know i talk about this but I did an English, I had an English minor and like transitioning to English courses and English um, essays Essays is really hard and um, it's something that I thought was, I, was, I, thought, I thought I was really good at. <laughs> it's really hard. But other than that, yeah, I'm looking forward to the future. For the most part, I'm in the green right now for graduation, so we'll be there together. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think um, this is interesting. This it is. This is an interesting semester. For sure. But we're not the only ones graduating. No. You are not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we are not. No, not, not me. So what plans do you all have for the future? Questions, baby. Questions. Oh, I have a well, okay. I have a question. How do you apply to graduation? Because a, a few months ago, I didn't even know that you had to apply, and I feel like a lot of students don't. That's a solid question, and you know. I didn't even know that you had to apply. I saw it on someone's Snapchat story last semester. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I, I guess that's something I need to start mm-hmm. asking about. But um, essentially, when you log on to your assist in your student account, um, underneath where it says, like, registration, you can apply for graduation. And it's one of the little uh, links there. Okay. So that's how you do it. It is a fee of $50. But um, if you receive financial aid, that... Have you paid that? I did what with I haven't yet. <laughs> my financial aid came really? in and since I, I applied for register I mean sorry, I applied for graduation when I registered, mm. um the charge was already there in my student oh, account. So when my funds helpful. came in I'm not paying it. Don't we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Jerry's not graduating. <laughs> You'll see him here next semester. <laughs> We should have done this in our cap and gown, Jerry. We oh, should have. Next week, sorry. Next okay, week. Let, let's week. edit it in. We yeah. should do a podcast at the Bergopton. Oh, fun. We should, right? Yeah, Would we'll you guys see. be interested in seeing that? Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> like, go comment on your last podcast. <laughs> Ready for graduation. Um, and I, yeah, I... I do appreciate the question because it was something that kind of threw me out of a loop but it is a $50 fee and that's how you go about it you should be receiving an email confirmation that you've applied for graduation um, and that's how it works I mean so absolutely last minute to you just, <laughs> would you, you recommend just, like, that? Apply? you no. have to submit anything else? <laughs> no I mean, there's extra steps that you should do to get prepared. Um, so one of the things that we've also had to do um, is they, they host like these seminars to make sure that you're ready to graduate and be kind of released into the real world. It almost feels like we've been in captivity, like we're some like lions or something. <laughs> and um, 
just to go outside in the world and function, you know, if you did get any student loans, they talk you through that, the repayment process and um, things that are available, resources that are available for you to also look for a job after graduation. Um, I only attended 20 minutes of that ceremony. I'll and be I honest. attended none of it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're not the best people to be here. But it just goes to show, I think graduation is something very stressful for so many people. And, you know, I'm the biggest screw up. Is that, are we allowed to say that? I, I want to say that I'm just, <laughs> no, you're like, no. Like, um, we do have counselors. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> just... Uh, that I feel like I wouldn't have thought that I'm the kind of student that would make it this far. Oh. So I just want to say it's a really cool thing. And, and the professors do work with you a lot of the time. So those are my tips. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> cool. Thank you. And then, you know, an added on piece of stress to that is you have to then buy your gown, your cap, yeah, your yes, go to the bookstore. It's $100. Like yeah. flat with everything. Honors. 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 Mine, mine was 80. I didn't have to buy the cord. <laughs> they didn't give you a discount. <laughs> I would have thought, that, I thought that it was a good thing. Right? I, um, yeah, that's you charged him more. <laughs> right? They did. Okay. Like, oh, you're, you're, you're smart enough to earn some extra money. I'm going to get low grades. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. That's something. Um, I don't know. Yeah. That's something also you could look into because I didn't know I was graduating with honors until I was at the bookstore. And the, <laughs> and the lady pulled out a sheet and said my name was on it and that meant I was graduating with honors. I don't know what that meant. So I was like, oh, what does that mean? And she's like, that means you have like a really high UPA. So if that's something that you're striving. That means you owe us $20 more. <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah. It means I was going to say something, but I was You're in luck. <laughs> I was going to say that. But. Um, if that's something as a freshman you're entering it and you're dedicated and you want to graduate with honors, keep an eye on your GPA and you know, save money. <laughs> save money. <laughs> or don't and save some money. So I don't yeah. know. By um, the way, you don't have to pay for the honors court, just just FYI. Oh okay. That it comes sense. it's free. They just do it in my back. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. That's good. Um another thing that I think is really important is that you also have to register for graduation. Um, in the sense that you need to confirm that you'll be attending the ceremony. Mm -hmm. Right now with COVID, I know um, we're really honored that we get to attend an in-person ceremony. There is also a Facebook streaming, um, live stream, sorry, of the actual ceremony. So that's really fun and too. And the, the commencement ceremony is not uh, mandatory. Yeah. You don't have to go. You, mm -hmm. It tells you when you're registering for graduation, like, do you want to go to the ceremony, yes or no? So you don't have to go. It's, it is something, though, that like, I think you should go because... It's an experience. It's an yeah. experience you're working right. for. And even if you don't have any family there, you have friends. Yeah. <laughs> and you have yeah. People there. Send us your live stream and we'll join. We'll join. <laughs> Did oh, you guys get rings? No, no, that's a yeah. See, no. that's so expensive. I don't. I don't. I don't wear rings. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't wear mm -hmm. rings. Uh, Did I'm, you get one? No, I I didn't. I did con contemplate getting one. Sorry, I can't speak today. You can um, hire a jeweler nearby yeah. to do it for you, and not have to pay for the garbage they sell at Justin. Just, I that's, just, that's my opinion. You heard it here first. <laughs> that's an opinion. That's an opinion. That's not representative of that point. No, but I don't think that's a good deal. And I think those people are suckers. <laughs> That's good that we're telling the students you, what we actually. Is that feel. what you're gonna do, or you're like contemplating doing? Um. Well, <laughs> my dad uh, does jewelry, or he did when I was growing up. So I thought it'd be kind of sweet to maybe make something out of my childhood bracelets that no oh. longer fit. Um. But I don't know. I haven't really spoken to him much about it. Um. It's just kind of an idea. Although I, I would just business booming you know here in the valley and support oh, cool. local so yeah, yeah. I, I would suggest that also because it's a very personal experience and it's something that you're gonna hold and it's like your pride for your alma mater and you know your dedication to school and you don't have to go to those ring ceremonies <laughs> yeah before. oh there's one <laughs> yeah. for so that pretentious yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, look at that's me. interesting what is that what is that one about so ring ser the ring ceremonies with um like the johnson's college right mm -hmm. like you buy the ring Justin. through Justin's College. <laughs> and you buy the ring. You've been trashing the wrong company. 
<laughs> Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> you buy the ring from them, and then they give you access to these like events on campus yeah. where you go and you take pictures and you you celebrate how beautiful your ring is. Mm -hmm. But you're only invited to those events if you have the ring from them. So mm -hmm. you can't go with like your personal ring and be like, oh, I bought this from a jeweler. They'll kick you out. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just an opinion. My sister yeah. um, didn't. She didn't like any of the. They didn't have her sizing because her ring with her her finger was too small. So she went to an actual jeweler and paid the amount of money that she would have paid at um, on campus. And they gave her a beautiful ring that's like probably worth like ten times more. <laughs> that's just my opinion. It's up to you as a student mm -hmm. what you value. Yeah. I don't want that. It is. Um, I just I believe there's a lot of ways to celebrate your graduation, and you know. Um, you don't have to be in some white tie. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. have to get home, and you don't even have to buy anything cap fancy. Or gown yeah. Or... yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to. You could go to the commencement wearing. <laughs> Nothing. Right, you could, right? Technically. I mean, or would they not let you? I think, so. I think you have to. Yeah, you, you do have to. Never mind. You, have to. you do have to. But, um, I'll keep an eye out, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the things that we actually wanted to talk about today is also just uh, being grateful and thankful. You know, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're just looking oh, forward to it. <laughs> yeah, in that corner. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so we also just wanted to talk about that a little bit more about you know, <laughs> how thankful we are. I'm thankful for Jerry and his <laughs> turkey and fresh. <laughs> um, <laughs> my plans are actually. To uh, go have dinner with Nidi and her family and eat some turkey, the classic. Uh, other than that, I'm grateful for Nidi, of course, my beautiful girlfriend. Um, grateful for my family and that everyone's like healthy and they're all good. We're doing great. And that's it. Co-workers. <laughs> oh, well, that's my family, my yeah. extended family. It is, it is. <laughs> Would you like to go next? Um, yeah. Um, so I am also celebrating with my family on both sides. I'm going to make peach cobbler, which is my absolute favorite for this wow. time of year. I put the recipe oh. way back when, last year, oh. on a meal Monday. Oh. Oh. So if you go to our Instagram, look at the highlights. There's a meal Monday highlight, and you can find the recipe. Super oh, simple. Wow. It's like three ingredients mm -hmm. peach and cobbler we should make it and, <laughs> and, yeah, and the pie um yeah um i'm also grateful for you guys i've missed you guys so much like it's not even funny laughing. <laughs> um, turkey impressions every year yeah i'm grateful for like the wonderful podcast team but also like my family and the rest of our coworkers. i feel like this semester we've gotten a lot closer than like previous semesters and so i'm gonna miss it <laughs> oh how Start beautiful I know. <laughs> it's i think it's the um what i'm thankful for is the idea that you know we are all still alive from covid mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a, little, that's a little morbid <laughs> but i mean like in the sense that we're all still here yeah. we're all still friends and um you know, even through graduation, that's scary. Like we're yeah. uh, we're kind of coming. Me and Nadia are like coming to our to a very pivotal point in our lives, but we're still all friends yeah. together. Nothing's we're changing. Stay friends. Yes. And we're gonna stay friends. We're gonna stay friends. Yes. Uh, we'll have our Peter Piper for night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're gonna be like thirty. <laughs> they're gonna kick us out. <laughs> Out of the game. Peter Piper's has such good buffets. Have you ever seen yes. the yes. buffet? So nice. It's so good. good. From I mean, 11 to 1. Any... Uh, what? Yeah. I've gotten a recent I mean, the, this Peter Piper, you just like order the pizza and then they bring it to you. Like, literally, the little buffet section is all like cardboard boxes. Oh. Like oh, the carry out boxes. Because so you won't grab it. Yeah. That's uh, sad. So maybe if you know a different one, we could go there. Maybe. But yeah, I'm thankful for Turkey. Um, my plans on Thanksgiving. <laughs> my plans on Thanksgiving. I'm probably gonna. I'm probably gonna frontline the turkey. <laughs> I'm gonna. I, I'm a big. I'm a cook. So I'm gonna cook all the oh, food. Oh, that's excited. Cool. And um, yeah, my we might celebrate a little earlier because my sister and um, 
their her fiance, except they're going to Dallas for that Dallas football game. Mm. <laughs> She's pointing to my screen, but it's different conversations <laughs> to talk about. How are y'all going to go to Well, <laughs> just she, before I, I, I just deep want fried. to say I'm deep fried. <laughs> Some turducken. <laughs> um, real quick, just before we get into that, I, I did also want to share some of the stuff that I'm thankful for, um, as well as my plans, which are hanging out with my beautiful boyfriend, Gerson Salinas, um, and celebrating with my grandma, who keeps us up talking <laughs> um, every every holiday. And I wanted to say that I'm very thankful for my boyfriend and um, for my coworkers, my family, my doggos. They're the best, the light of my life. Um, and I just wanted to say that I really, really appreciate this um, student employment opportunity. And I have loved every second of working here um, and all the people that I've met along the way. And it means a lot to me that we're able to celebrate uh, important moments in our lives, uh, such as our graduation together and, you know, Thanksgiving. We actually just <laughs> held our social for uh, Thanksgiving and it was a really beautiful experience just to see so many people that care so much about our students here, the university and each other. It's a really beautiful experience. And so I just wanted to share that that's what I'm grateful for. I'm not crying. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is a beautiful podcast, like a topic, like just sharing what you're thankful for, our upcoming big life goals, you mean, like <laughs> yeah. graduation. Turkey. Turkey, turkey, yeah. Turkey, turkey. Turkey, <laughs> turkey. Peter Piper. Peter Piper is. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, we wanted this to be just a short, sweet podcast. Just talk about, um, you know, as we approach these two days off for Thanksgiving. And um, yeah, I think, I hope everyone, if you stay here, you're going out for the holiday. Stay safe. And um, we'll see you all back at home next week. <laughs> yeah. Right? Thank you. Yes, thank Bye. you so much. Bye, Bye everyone. He's up. Are you okay? Okay, then I'll go first because everyone else is laughing.